Oh, that sucks. Yeah, missed it. I know, dude, I was just saying to him. Serious death. Well, a lot of you probably need to pose. It's like, right, right, right. This is like motor oil. All right. So, the next challenging step is this. Wow, 
Don't, oh. don't, don't put your face there. there you go. This is a snap ring. Uh -huh. It's like a lock washer. Great. Oh, there's no fucking pressure on there, dude. Oh, because it's being supported here. Yeah, there's still, now we gotta kind of be careful. See if you can pull that out. Hold on, I don't wanna stand here. It's all right. Okay, yeah, that's what's holding it now. This is being, since this guy fell. Don't, don't worry about that hand. Get, get your hand out of there. Don't worry about that. Yep. It's just from basically from here. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. Where's the other one now? I bet you the other one's in a complete asshole spot. This? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're a fucking prick. <laughs> We can you take can it take off. this off and yeah. then lift it up. Yeah, it's just this thing is too fucking heavy. The piston? Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. This is actually very heavy. Yeah. Let's put this back in. Just stick. Hold up. Oh yeah, put that back in. Yeah, just to and hold it. We'll Doesn't just need to. Stick this in here just so that it's uh. Here, lift that up. No, you gotta lift it up a tiny bit. Yeah. Just a tiny bit. Cool. Right, I got you. Got it? Yeah. Uh, down here. This one down. Wait. Yeah, against each other. There it is. Almost. There it is. Go. Nope. There it is. Yep. this and someone's here it's not just all gonna go flatter into the floor yeah um you need another box wrench i think Crescent wrench you gotta hold back two, over here right so, uh, what size you think that is this one's big enough for both of them half inch or nine sixteenths yeah
Wait, why don't I just give you another five eighths? Okay. No, because it's a tip. that out. Yeah. All right. So five eighths to nut from where the fuck is it? Up here. Nut and bolt. Five eighths. It's on video. <laughs> it's all hour. Yeah. Going for an hour and then five minutes. Yeah, right. So you know, you can end up in jail. Somebody's gonna come up and shoot you, and you're gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> Yo, what <laughs> was I that? I don't know what that guy was talking that was about. It's fucking hilarious. Like, what? That's so fucking. This guy's like <laughs> working on a machine. I just wanna beat the shit out of you. <laughs> okay, buddy. Easy, it's okay. And the guy's like not even saying anything. He's just like, oh, whatever. It's like, leave me alone. what we got put that pin back in through here put the snap ring back in because we don't know when we're gonna be back probably tomorrow it's all back together and this pin is bone dry kind of my, my man koala all right, so we're back out here in the yard. And uh, what I had to do was take the two foot pipe wrench. Probably should have used a steel one. That one on there is aluminum. Hooked it back up, put the pin through. 
right? I didn't put the cotter pin on. Hopefully I didn't damage anything, but I don't I don't know. Put this there. Piece of wood to protect it a bit. I stood on it, stood on the end, the very end of the cheater pipe. And I heard the crack, you know, the infamous crack of success. And then uh, now it's now it's pretty loose. But uh, that looks to be the only way to do it if you don't have a vice on the back of your truck or the proper tools. Just got to improvise. All right, so got the nut off. This was like that, so I put that face down, face down. Goes on like that. <laughs> Shit stinks. All right, it's pretty good. clean see how, see how well that goes this shit is light that's heavy as shit and that's heavy this is this is I think the problem the seals inside there Maybe I should wear some gloves, huh? That's it. <laughs> All for eighty five dollars. Using Bobcat seals. That's the part number. Made in USA. So it's worth it. I don't want to do this twice. For freight and cheapy Home Depot tools. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. This one's probably gonna be the tough one. Do it from this side, maybe. No one, old one. Okay.
is absolutely going to be difficult to get in. If it was that hard to get out, how do you think it is to get in? Let's see. Can you see that? Nah, it's too, th too difficult. The angle is not right. But it's kind of messed up, right? Oh, yeah, there you go. Right on here, it's got a lot of, uh, to see, huh? You see that little lip? That right there? Easiest thing, the metal ring goes inside. This is the outside, the metal ring goes on the inside. Yeah, there's no fucking way this is going in here like this. Oh shit, I can't believe that got in there. No way. Really? That one in there. No way. Really? How did that go in there so easily? sure how I did that um, I just kind of worked it in there really alright alright so on this side I bet you half that shit wasn't even on tape. But anyway, there's no wrong way to put these in. Large O-ring. Whatever the hell that is. And then another O-ring. You can't screw that up. There's no shape to it. Other than round. <laughs> and that, my friend... Is done. I think I got a quote for seven. I got a quote for like fifteen hundred dollars. This seal, oil change, hydraulic fluid, both filters for the hydraulic fluid, and a fuel filter for I think fifteen hundred bucks, I believe, from our local dealer. I like the guys. I just like my money more. They're at $169 an hour. 
my accountant gets 250 and he saves me a lot more money. So, I'm not sure if that's Loctite. That's probably why it was so difficult to get off. All right, so here's the machine. Uh, I didn't film putting it back together because I kind of did it in a pinch because I think I needed it for offloading one of the trucks. Anyway, to get the nut back on securely, we basically did it in reverse. I put the pin through here. The nut is on the end of this inside the cylinder up here. So before putting it inside the cylinder, I secured this, jumped on the end of the wrench with the nut and it's as tight as I could get it. So hopefully it doesn't come loose. I mean, it's been good. It's been sitting here, no leaks. You know, it's pretty much dry. Probably should paint this just to make it look nice, but it's not coming through. Yeah, it's seal is just for the dust. And it seems to be working. Before there was always hydraulic fluid leaking on here. It's not greased because um, still have to do the hydraulic fluid flush and filter change. Um, and I got to power wash the hell out of this. This thing's never been properly cleaned. I mean, it only has like 700 plus hours on it, but all this excess grease that you see, it's really got to get cleaned. It just makes greasing it in the future better. Um, one thing that I don't understand is my, my Bobcat kind of designs certain things in a weird way. You got to take this panel out in order to change the battery. Not a big deal, but this is the hydraulic fluid cooler and that's the radiator. That don't look so good. It's just riveted in there. Anyway, all that is just, I mean, I've cleaned that out before, but it just keeps piling up. All this stuff, I mean, this is the hydraulic fluid drain hose. I don't know if you can tell, but that's kinked real bad there. So I'm gonna have to fix feet, fix this and feed it in another way so it doesn't have that kink. The other thing was this fitting, for whatever reason, is the most difficult thing to get from Bobcat. This you need it, you need a fitting and an adapter on there to bleed the air out of the hydraulic system. Like my dealer can't get it for me. I don't understand. I mean, I, I found it on my own, but it's kind of stupid that it was difficult to get in the first place. Oh, it's got a Kubota three cylinder. Anyway, Needs the oil change is done. Just gotta do the hydraulic fluid and coolant. That's about it. Oh, and if you're looking for part numbers, well, this is on the inside. I guess this is the hood or side side hood. I don't know, but this is an E32 from 2012. All the part numbers are there for your filters and maintenance stuff. And you know, the dealer doesn't know anything about 
each individual system without having a part number. It seems like it's always difficult to get filters without either the serial number or the part number of the filter. Um, so check around your equipment. Usually it's listed somewhere. And that's the oil filter, which is a pain in the ass to get to. Anyway, enjoy. Like, subscribe, and share it with your friends.